share my screen. I'm going to put this over here and I don't see anyone else coming in right now. So we're going to share Photoshop and then we'll look at WordPress and we'll troubleshoot Maria, your situation. Okay. So let me just get this. If I see anyone, it's hard. I, I can't really, don't really see people when they're coming in. <clears throat> okay. So I just want to show you, uh, this is something uh, I'm actually working in. Let's see here. I'm actually working in, um, in my uh, digital imaging class with the timeline as well. So let me just zoom out so you can see this. And I don't think I have a timeline. Right. Okay, good. So here are all my layers. Let me just turn them all on. And so you're obviously going to have your photographs, right? Whatever your, your, whatever your photographs may be. And the important thing when you begin, you're going to go to File New. Let me just do that right now. And you're going to go to uh, Film and Video right here. So Film and Video. You want to use a 1280 by 720. That's a size that is uh, good quality, but not, doesn't take so much memory away from you. This, this really is a monster. Uh, it's good quality, but it it's, will take way too much memory. So you want to do the 1280 by 720 right here to start your uh, project. And everything else is okay. You can just let it set, unlike print, where you have to be very specific. This is by default everything what you need to have set. So now that's going to create this document here. And as you can see, you can either do an animated GIF or you can do a video timeline. Now, what you cannot do is you can't switch midstream. You either are going to do an animated GIF or you're going to do a video. You can't switch between one to the next because it corrupts sort of all the work that you do. So uh, I just wanted to show that you can do an animated shift. Now, when we do, so I'm just gonna do a uh, timeline uh, on the video and then you click. And so then I get this video like this, which is, now so you see my layer, I can roll over this and it's very, let me open this up bigger so you can see this. And you can make it smaller with this thing or bigger. So that's, that kind of helps you to see overall the whole timeline. Now, you, you, the time is really up to you. Uh, you don't want it under 15 seconds and you don't want it over a minute. So that's up to you, right? Don't go under 15 and don't go over a minute. Now you could do three minutes, but that's a big narrative story and I would have a voiceover if you do three minutes. But, uh, but uh, 15 seconds to a minute, you just could use type and text and images and music and be able to be fine. Now the thing to remember is that you can import um, music. So you would add music. You could do sound effects, you can do a soundtrack, and Alicia knows the difference between sound effects and soundtrack, right? Because she took animation. Sound effects is like hand clapping, people walking, sounds of the city. Uh, music is soundtrack is usually a composition that's the overall feeling. You can actually edit sound in here. It's pretty cool, really easy. So um, the point to be made is that in, um, in here, you can also add video. So I would open up another layer, a blank layer. So you can actually import an animated GIF, but you can also import a video. And the way to do that is to make a blank layer like this. This is completely blank. And then simply add media. Not through this, which you would think import video to frames. 
So now take a look at this. This says import video frames to layers. This is why people use Photoshop in After Effects, because if there's like a white sneaker in a shot and it distracts from the shot, the live action shot, you can actually clip the seconds in your live action, bring it into Photoshop, erase the sneaker, and re-export it out in the same quality to put it back into the feature film, the live action film. So a lot of people have a lot of jobs fixing film because somebody left a coffee cup, right? And, the, and it got into a shot, right? You've heard those stories. So that's where uh, Photoshop is widely used. So again, you can use music, you can use videos, you can use animated GIFs, and of course you can use graphics and, and photographs which is what you're going to be bringing in. Whoops. So, um, so the point to be made here is I'm gonna show you two ways to bring content into Photoshop. Most people, and so I'm gonna open up, um, open up some of these pictures, like I have. So what I'm doing right now is I am file opening pictures. So let's see here, where is, I wanna get to my untitled. I need to save this, save as. Now put it in downloads. Okay. So, um, so these are all pictures. Let me get uh, rid of this. Right? These are just pictures that I'm using. Don't want to use that. So I'm, I'm doing a uh, informational video on how important wearing masks are. So, um, so on here, I don't know why I have a buzzing sound. I have no idea. Um, but anyway, so um, here, this is uh, my motion picture. When you do import, when you do place embedded, right? I exported uh, Oksana's uh, avatar. So when I do place embedded, watch what happens. I will take hers and I'll place it. And you see how there it is, right? So it takes the whole, this is an Illustrator file, it takes a whole picture. And when I do place embedded, it forces the picture into the size that you're bringing it in, right? So now, if we zoom in, that's the resolution. But the problem with that, let me fit on screen, zoom out all the way. The problem is that, is that if I scale this, if I want this bigger, whoops, I'm sorry. I keep doing that shift key and you can't do that anymore. If I want to get this bigger, and let me get um, my layer to be black. This will eventually get distorted on here. So far it's pretty good, but eventually the, the size will, eventually the size will get completely Pretty good, right? Oh, do I love Illustrator. <laughs> Look at that, right? Even this, this distorted, it still is holding up somewhat good. Now watch what happens if I drag and drop that. So that was the place embedded. And as you saw, I, um, I had to scale it up, right? When you open it, like these files, open, and I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna open it. Watch what happens when I drag and drop it into this file. It already is big. <clears throat> so now let's turn this on. <laughs> and I'm just turning it on and off. <clears throat> so it, that's where you don't have to scale is the point to be made. So you want to file open everything. So I rarely use 
I rarely use that place embedded. There's two reasons why as well. When you do place embedded, you can only open one, you can only place one at a time. When you do file open, you can select 20 and it will open 20. And then you drag and drop, you drag and drop, you drag and drop into the master layout as this is. So when I drag and drop this, this is not a big photograph to begin with. And you notice how that's locked. Remember to double click to get that unlocked. And now I'll drag and drop it. And you see, as soon as I bring this big, it's gonna get pixelated, right? But remember, you won't have that problem because you, you're bringing it from your phone, your mobile phone, and the resolution is very good. You'll be okay with that in all your pictures. And if you have a problem with resolution, don't forget to go to filters up here and really play with them so they can get much more graphic and not pixelated. So you can uh, really get some things to be uh, very, uh, you know, fidelity wise. I don't know why this is, the memory is not good. I don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna show me the filter. Sometimes the zoom share doesn't do certain tools. I have no, I have no idea why. But the point to be made only because I don't wanna, uh, we got still time and I wanna look at your progress on your posters. The point to be made is I want you to bring in all your pictures during this hour that we're away from each other. So our next time is scheduled to be for uh, 2.15. So uh, this way you'll, you'll start your motion graphic and then you'll um, get all the pictures that you want, get them in a stacking order so that when you are bringing them in, such as this, remember you can drag and drop them above and below the order that you wanna see things. And so what you wanna do is, and I'm gonna show you next illustrator now. You wanna bring in your pictorial symbols and the pictures, and you kinda of wanna get them in the order of time so that the bottom is the earliest and the top is the latest in time. So morning would be on the bottom and evening would be on the top layer. So that this way you can get them all to be what you want them to be. So is, is any questions on that? Okay, and then, and then we'll go through the timeline when I make my uh, timeline here. You see now I have all my videos and what you do is you stretch them out. So you take your back, your bottom color layer and see when I drag this, this is going to give me 15 seconds or a minute. So this is right now a minute in one second and 16 frames. So if I want a minute, I know that's the end. And then don't forget, you can stretch this out. And then now we have the stretched out, which is down here. Uh, see, I'm zooming in to the timeline. This is zoomed out. And so this is stretched out right now for a minute. And then what you do basically is we do this like in an animation. You stagger your images. So you, what you see is what you get. So let me just show you. So this would come out like this. Well, this one is off. Let me turn this one on. And if you don't want to use it, just push it to the, push it, you know, to the few, uh, forward into the future. And so now I'm going to stagger this. So you see right now, this picture is seen. If I scrub it, now you see what happens. So that's basically it, literally. You play this. And obviously I want to uh, stretch this out. So it's very good before you even start the timeline to get everything scaled. So I'll put this away for a second. And on this one, I want this one, where is this? Ah, you see, I've got the timeline. See what happens when you don't have this, uh, if, you don't, if you build your timeline first, I don't see it. So that's where I got into confusion. Now I see it. And now I can scale it up. 
So you don't want to start your timeline until everything is scaled in order, you know, like action, you know, photograph symbol, photograph symbol, photograph symbol. And the point of what we're doing is we're going to relate this motion graphic to your poster so that when you write your description in YouTube, it's going to link to your poster on your blog. So people can see uh, a visual image and people can see uh, a video. So let me show you uh, getting things from um, Illustrator into uh, Photoshop. So again, don't start your timeline until everything is in order and everything is scaled to the size that you want it to be. And if there's any cleaning up of photos or uh, fixing photos, that we can do, um, I can help you with that as well. So let me go to Illustrator now. So I'm going to come out of Share. And um, I want to turn on to my Illustrator. OK. And uh, now I'm going to share the Illustrator. Where are you, Illustrator? Here we go. OK. I think I'm sharing. Let me get rid of this Photoshop. Mm -mm -mm. Can you see my illustrator? Yeah. yeah. You can? I have uh, Oksana's avatar. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. So um, I wanted to ask Oksana on this. Let me open up the original one. So Oksana, I was kind of looking at your uh, avatar mm -hmm. that you have here. I'm trying to find the original one. Let's, I think I have this one. We can use this one. Um, and what I noticed was your clipping path on here, how you clipped it, and so forth. Uh, Oksana, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you tell me why you clipped the circles? What? <laughs> why? What? You see I how what you have here paths and clipping paths and things like that do you remember when did you use like any of these things here let me just show you like clipping mask or compound mass and making it or did you do image trace um yeah. i just don't know name of all of it i um I don't know how to explain what I did. Yeah, so the reason why I'm asking Oksana, here, here's the original. Here, I want to show you because I want to be sure you're making things in the best way in Illustrator. So let's just take a look at what Oksana has here. So she has a circle and a, uh, a circle and a, uh, a color, uh, you know, background on here. Now, normally you would use this tool the elliptical tool. Let me just get a color here so you can see. And on this elliptical tool, with, with, um, with the shift key down, you do have to use a shift key, you would make a circle, right? So when I went to look at Oksana's file and I see this circle, I'm like thinking, how did she make the circle? Oh, I only have 10 minutes. So the point to be made is you want to be sure to use the tools that are in Illustrator before you start using any of the advanced tools like the clipping path or the compound path. So the clipping path and the compound path, the reason why you use them is number one, you have a photograph or you have a lot of illustrator elements and you wanna cut them like a grouping. But now you can actually group things and then cut them with a shape as long as it's in the same layer, and it should, it, should it should do a clipping mask. But just to make a basic circle, you really want to be sure that you just use the tools. So Oksana, that's why I was asking, when I saw your circle, I'm like going, how did you make the circle, right? So I opened it up Professor. and I saw all this, and I was confused, right? Professor. Yes, Pena. 
which circle are you talking about? What what was that? What circle did you talking about? Are you I could not see anything in the screen. Yeah, oh, it's okay. only Oxana's avatar. That's it. Yeah, What's I don't that? see anything. Oh, oh, you don't see here. Okay, let me zoom in. Can you see now? Mm -hmm. No, it's the same. Oh, oh you know why? No, it's, still it's, like the yeah. empty space with that. It's because it's so light. That's a problem. Uh -huh. Let me, let me uh -huh. change the color. So it's it's a, I, I'm glad you said something, Panya. So what happened is this color that Oksana has is so light that uh, you can't, oh wait, hold on, let me see here. Let me try to see if I can grab it. Okay. Oh, here we go, watch. There. Now you can see the circle, right? No. No. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna stop to share. Right, we're back to this, and I'm gonna start try to do a share screen. I think the the browser is a better one to see, and we'll, we'll go to WordPress on this too. Now you can see the circle. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. So this was the circle that Aksana made. Now it's a great circle because it's like you know, uh, yeah. it might have been a path circle. You might have made it with a brush. That might have happened. But the point to be made is. You know, just remember, if you need a circle, it's easy for this. But if you wanted to have an organic one, the brush circle is very good to use as well. So let me just go to this one to show you how to export. So when you're exporting your symbols, you want to turn everything off and only turn on what you want to see. So you're ex exporting, you know, symbol by symbol by symbol from your avatar and, and it doesn't have to be all the symbols. It could just be the ones that you definitely want to use in the motion graphic. And all you do is, um, oh, let me get my mouse. All you do is go File, Export, Export As, come down here, and find a PST. Hmm. That now converts your... Um, Illustrator file into a Photoshop file, making the background, no layer turned on, transparent. And so that's when I, and that's how I got, um, and you know, you say, okay. And that's how I was able to get Oksana's on here, uh, right into, into this. So you see, that was exported and it's really, I mean, the more that I do things in Illustrator and I bring them into Photoshop, the more I like Illustrator because this is such a good quality. It kind of, it keeps its vector quality even in a scale, unlike a photograph. So that's what you want to do as far as um, getting everything ready for our next session. So I'm going to jump. Any questions on that uh, export? No. Right? Just be sure to make it a duplicate. Don't take your master layout. Do a save as higher number data underscore motion zero one. Then begin to start manipulating. Turn layers on, turn layers off, export, export, export. And get all your photos in so that I would really like you to work on it in that hour that we have. We have five more minutes, so I'm going to go to um, WordPress now and get... Uh, and get your, um, uh, I want to see Maria. You said, Maria, you have difficulty, so we'll share your screen. Okay. Um, anyone else have their file up to WordPress? Yes. Penny, you have yes. yours, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm on WordPress as well. So, Donovan, you do too? Okay. Let me, uh, let's go through Penny so we can see uh, Maria. And then we'll look at yours, Donovan, as well. Sure. Anya, I know you're here. Hold on. <laughs> I know how to spell. I do know how to spell. Oof, I do, I do. Okay, Panya, this is your website. Get your one of your own illustrations up here. Right? You see on your home page? Yeah. Yeah, get one of your drawings, one of your pictures, one of your paintings. Make this blog become you. Right? So you, you know how to do that. That's under customization header in WordPress, okay? 
I, yeah. All right. Um, I know we do it. <laughs> right, right. And uh, be sure to blog. Find some interesting things. Okay. You really, this becomes okay. a professional portfolio site. You will have a site um, where, you know, so this is actually, uh, that's your blog right here. This is what we call a blog, which is different than when you get your .com, right? When you get your full name .com, that will become your very professional site. But this is a blog that tells people, look all the things I know how to do. I'm finding really cool things, new techniques. Gives people confidence that you know a lot and you want to know a lot, right? So just remember that, that's important. Okay, so let's look at your, um, where did you put it on this one? Um, I actually created a new photo, say data visualization. This, this one? Or f no. Capture? Wait, why is not up there? Ah, you know what? Maybe did you add I, it? You have to add it on the menu. You remember, you have to go to customization, design, menus, add page. Okay. But it, yeah, so you called it something yeah. different? The page? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's, that, that's probably just because of that. But, but actually, where do you want uh, to upload in? On the, on the pages, you can, you, well, if you made a page for it, you can just call it data visualization. That's what I did. That's good. But actually, okay. That's good. We're not, I, actually, because of what happened, we're really, we've changed the ship. So we might, we can actually delete some of these pages. Okay. The photo retouching one. Do you remember in the very beginning of the semester? Oh, I have less than a minute. I'm going to get cut off. So everybody work on your timeline. I'll check the blogs for the uh, progress. But on the photo retouching, you remember that family on the porch? Yes. That's a good yeah. one to bring into yeah. here. Now, May, some of you may have okay. it still on the art drive, but that's the place oh, to bring okay. that photo retouching one. Okay? So I think I may only have a minute, so I'm going to unshare. And because we're going to be cut off, um, I just want you to be sure to um, work on that timeline so that we have all the questions when we come back. I'll look at your blog. Panya, you can kind of uh, revise it, get that to be added, and then I'll check the progress okay. as well. Okay? Sure. So I'll send another link at 2.15. Okay. Okay? I think we're going to get okay. cut off. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. Lots uh, that I have right up here now. So this came out really nice, Yamalet. I love how you did the 3D. How did you, which hat, what program did you do that in? Illustrator? Yeah. Nice. Awesome, awesome. You want to walk through how you did that? Um, so it took a lot of um, like research and kind of figuring out how to work it. But really you use the 3D um, tool. Um, and then you kind of have to play around with it a lot <laughs> to get to where you want it to be because it, it requires a lot of adjusting and a lot of deleting. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah. So it's, it's a process. It's a really long process. So, you know, this is exciting. Now, it, this is not the perspective grid. No. It, okay. It's the 3D tool. Yeah. Is this in Illustrator? Yes. Great. See, I have never used that tool. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird because if you have like other um, other works open, it'll tell you that you don't have enough space. Mm. So you have to close everything and you have to like work on that file alone and you can't have anything else open. Yeah, see that's that memory stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's where, you know, all the power of the compu uh, computer is computing all these things. So that's really exciting. So here's something to let you guys know, since we're all in this um, industry of being online, 
Yeah, but you could do a tutorial video. We'll look into this screencast. And what you do is basically, you kind of record yourself as you're talking about tools. And then, you know, you make a lot of mistakes. It's no big deal. But then you bring that video into something like uh, Premiere. Remember, you all have Premiere with Adobe Creative Suite. And you can just edit what you don't want. Just edit it right out. And now you have this very cool tutorial created by someone who may not quote be an expert, which is like the most of us, right? We're not, I'm not an expert on this tool. But, yeah. Right? And so, but you're much more of an expert, expert than I am because I don't even know that tool. So here I could learn from you. And so what I find is sometimes when somebody's very high in their skill level, they kind of just fly through things, right? It's really good to have people like yourself walk through things and you've, you'll find yourself getting some fans and getting a, 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 like a group and then it becomes a resource. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes what I find when I'm working, I'll be, in, I'll be in, a, in a program for really a long time and then I'm off to another one and I really forget everything. And when I come back, if I had those videos, it would really help me. And then I could catch up. I mean, you do catch up once you get in there, but you really do. You have to constantly use these tools uh, all the time to be able to feel like you're uh, proficient in it. Yeah, when I, I had started last week, um, I had kind of started it, mm -hmm. but it didn't come out well because it just wasn't working out I didn't really understand it because right. the tutorial that I was watching he was just doing a lot of things um, but not really explaining what he was doing right. until I found like three tutorials I had to watch to fully understand what was going on and right. I found one that made it pretty pretty simple to understand exactly and that's the kind of thing so you know I, it blows my mind how much much money people are making off of YouTube. <laughs> That's all I've got to say, you know? Um, so it's just one of those things, just remember, you've got years on your side to begin to build like a branding kind of thing. And uh, it takes a long time to get your head around 3D stuff. And yeah. once you get in it though, you, you any other program you get into, it, it becomes more familiar. So that came out really nice, Yamlet. I think that was really nice to see. Thank you. And, and I don't see Maria's with us right now, but this is what I was talking about on the, the legend uh, context. And um, so t tell me where, where you are and what you want to be thinking of, Yamlet. I love your bunnies as well. Your bunny and Panya bunny should get together. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um... Is this your last edit, the one I'm looking at now? Yeah. Good. So here's, here's some of my recommendation. You might want to put yourself over here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and then bring this down all the way and get yourself some space. Okay. I think that would be really good. This is really good up here. And um, so once you have that laid out, then you can take some of the things and, you know, maybe make a... Like right now you have straight lines. A good contrast could be organic shapes. Okay. Almost, you know, uh, related to the color. You know, like you've got some color on here, but I think definitely on the, over the shoulder, cause you have an edge here, right? And that yeah. can easily go to that edge right here. That straight edge could, could go right here. Cause you have a straight edge over here. Yeah. And that could easily go over to the side on there. And I think once you open this up, you can also get these to be larger. And then I think just kind of like, almost like, like vapors are coming out of, of these characters and so forth. And I think it looks really good. Your avatar <laughs> looks great. I love how you continued the pattern of the dots on there. So you're, it looks like you're wearing your contact lenses. Uh, yeah. See, I can't wear contact lenses, so I always like to find pictures with 
people with glasses. <laughs> yeah, I found the glasses hard to do, so I just took a picture without. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And you know what? If you could send me, uh, you can email it to me. Just give me this image because I want to take a look at it closer. Because when I okay. get closer here, you need to send me the AI, actually, the whole thing. Because um, I want to get closer to the avatar on there. And, um, but it's coming along great. And, and this is the kind of stuff that designers, and now this is also a really good iteration that you have. And this is doable as well, but you'd have to get your, you would have to really, I would get your name up here, get these guys to come down here. But this is great, how you have her over here on the right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely on there. Um, and the same thing too, you know, it's very good to, uh, and Panya, you had two iterations as well uh, on your pr uh, process that you're doing. And again, this is also very good, what Yamala did here, where she is showing her uh, source of inspiration, um, which is really good because it's very important to know that when you're working in a studio or you're working independently as a contractor, clients often give you your um, things that they like. And um, so what I was sharing the other day to remember, like when you work with clients, when you're an independent contractor, you don't know the client whatsoever. And so it's really important to ask them what do they like and what do they do not like. So if I was doing a website, I would say, show me your favorite website, show me your least favorite website. And then I can gauge right from there what they love and what they hate. And then that gives me a good ballpark on trying to find something. And you do that with inspiration. You kind of find something that speaks to you. And then you go off and do your own. So this came out really nice, Yamalette. This is also really fun. And, and again, this is a whole other new situation. I could see this easily as sort of like a dial kind of thing where like a, like a, a like a dial, like a spinner that spins. Yeah. And you, what you could do is each of these colors could be a ring. So one would all be just shopping, one would all just be education, you know, that kind of thing. And making it spiral all the way to the center. So yeah, my idea with that one was that, yeah, each, each section is um, kind of like how much time I spend doing that thing mm -hmm. um and then I was thinking about doing the like the after like right. well in the quarantine and then yes. kind of um making that like in the center right right yeah absolutely so that everything minimizes it that would be fun yeah I see where you're going because in in the outer one you're pretty you're pretty active you know you're out doing things and everything and then as you get closer to the quarantine, we're doing much less, much less uh, and so forth. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a, good, that's a good way to start with that. And this could be, you know, your title would be, you know, a, a subtitle, you know, during COVID. Yeah. Right? And that would be something that would be the title on that. So that came out really well. Really, really pleased with all of that. And um, I'll have to send you a couple of articles. I'll put it on the blog that I've been finding about this whole data visualization. The world is incredibly engaged in data visualization now. So it's kind of fun to see that. So uh, Sean, let's go to your uh, avatar, right? You have it up. Okay. Where, let's see, I know you're here. All right. You want to see my avatar again? Yeah, no, but Sean, why don't I have you here? Hold on. Let me do a fine. I probably have you from the other class. Well, at the moment, it's my avatar is the only thing I did right, for Sean. the moment. I was having a hard time figuring out. It, was, it took me a lot of time oh, Sean, figuring out how to make the shape. Here we are. Um, I've got to put you on, because uh, I have you still. Now, this is a different one, Sean. 
Hold on. No, I'm getting on there. Yeah. No, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering why. I'm trying to figure out where you are. Why do I not have you here? So here's something interesting to see, guys. I have had WordPress since the beginning, day one. So they actually give me the original interface. So I'm, I'm actually switching to it right now. So this is the way WordPress originally looked like. You don't even have this anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna look up Sean here. So Sean, I have two of these here. I don't see your, uh, I see this portfolio one. Yeah, you have the fall 2018. You know so, it's the fall 2018. Send me your link for the new one. I don't understand, because I know I looked at your but work. New one? But Is it I the already, same? I use my, I use that, I use the fall 2018 one all the time. Okay, so it's there then, that's what I thought. But let me, I, let me put you on to this year because I have you from animation. All right, here we go. Let's update that link. So that's how um, uh, WordPress was much different. And now this is the way it looks for you guys. This is what it is now. So, uh, all right, so and this is what I meant about making sure whenever you edit a WordPress, be sure the public sees what you just did. And the only way you can do that is if you click here and then click here. And then you know that's what the public is. Okay, so Sean, now I have you up here. Tell me where it is on the 2018. Where is yep. it? Which one is it? Wait. I have is it under artwork? Wait, I'll share my screen right now. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, let me stop mine then. Okay, go ahead. But I gotta get that link. So let, let me see what your screen looks like and then I can grab it. Yep. Okay, yep. Okay, so yeah. So somehow this looks like it's on some page called 984. But that is your portfolio. So um, you should make a page, Sean, called Digital Fundamentals. Digital Fundamentals? Yep, that's the name of the class. Okay? <clears throat> so that this way um, we Wait, can... On the, first, on, on the first week, you said we had to make pages of each of our own projects. Yes, yes, but I don't see it on your WordPress is what I'm saying. Okay. Do you have it as a blog post or a page? Page. Well, I didn't put it on the link, so. so it may not. I'll it may, yeah, I think we need to go and make sure we can add it. So we'll take a look at that. But the avatar looks great. I like your reflection in your eyes. They came out really, really well. And the hairline is also good. Awesome, awesome. I actually like, Sean, I actually like, uh, zoom, on, uh, zoom so we can see the bottom. Can you zoom out? Zoom out? Yeah, zoom out. Okay. And scroll, yeah, scroll down so we can see it all. Yep. Got okay, it. good. So here's my, here's my, uh, a little, a little uh, comment that I would do. Do you see the color of your line that goes around your eye? Yeah. That, that, make that be the same color as your nose. Okay. Don't make your line black on your nose. Okay. Okay, that would be better. You want that nose to, like your ears, you have the same colors in your ears, that's good. But don't make your nose have the black line. Okay. Keep it the same color that goes around your eyes. That's what I thought at first. No, it, it's it's black. Well, if, yeah, if you zoom not, in, it's. Well, a, I was thinking, uh, I was thinking of making the nose lines brown so it can blend in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right now, your 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 line for the nose is black. 
You want to make it the dark brown that you're using around your eyes. Okay. Okay. And then you're done. I think that looks good. What I was going to comment on, if you look to your lower left corner, everyone, as you can see, it's kind of nice. It has a kind of like a rough torn paper edge. That's kind of nice uh, on that, but you'd have to do that all for the shirt and it would have to be hard edge on the pattern in the background. So um, you, I would either make it hard edge all the way around, Sean, or loosen up all the edges that are where the shirt is so that it looks like it's intentional. But other than that, make everything a hard edge, sharpen that edge on the lower left. Well, this is my first time doing this. It's okay. Yeah, that's why I'm just making comments. I love the shape that you have on your shirt. Nice, uh, uh, very... How do, uh, make, how do I put the wrinkles on the shirt? Yep, you can, def, wrinkles are always good. Wrinkles are good. But that came out nice. Did okay. you, do you have your poster up, Sean? Um, your data poster with the symbols. I didn't have time to do it because I had to finish up the vector. Okay, so keep working on that. Uh, you can show that to me next week, which is good. Let's, let's unshare now. I wanna go over some more things on the timeline. Yeah. But you're, you're and, and get the pages up as well. Sean, I wanna show you, uh, let me share the screen. Let me share my screen. So uh, I'm gonna stay in WordPress so everybody can see. So here, Panya, this may be what's happening for you as well. So just remember the, the new WordPress, this version, you really, once you make a page as such, going back to mine now, once you make a page, whatever it is, you have to be sure to come to customization. No, wait, hold on. I got I to gotta come out of mine because mine is an old version. So, and let me get to a, a newer version. Yeah, this is a, a, a one I just made recently. On right, yeah, I'm a lot on the event. That won't happen until next March. Oh. Uh, right? So, um, so here, this is a, a new version. Uh, of a blog. So I would go to uh, custom, if I made a page, I would customize. And then you go to menus and you select primary and you make sure this primary is on. And then you add items and this is where you add your page. So that's when the page, that makes the page visible. If you do, do not do that and don't forget to save. If you do not add those pages like that, they will not be visible. So I don't know, Panya, if that was the case with what happened with yours. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so just that's, uh, and, and you know, I forget too, but that's why I do the view site before I think I'm done. It's like, oh, I didn't add the page, right? So you just have to do that. It's almost a, a formality now in doing that. And then the other thing I was talking to you about your home page. Remember down here under um, customize, that is a home page settings. So you can go to, um, let's see here. Ah, 10 minutes. Um, I'm not seeing it, what I want to see. Hold on. Uh, Professor. Yeah. Oksana and Malia. Oh. They say they cannot come on. They cannot get in. Okay, hold know. on. Okay. Let me get them in. Hold on. Admit. Admit. There we go. Sorry, Oksana. Yeah, for some reason, when I share my screen, I can't see people coming in. Hi, Oksana. I re everything is recorded, so you didn't miss a thing. I'm sorry, Professor. I really thought that you're gonna send us a new link. I was waiting for the link. Oh, I'm so sorry. Didn't I send it? No, it's the same one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, not to worry, not to worry. But I did record everything, so you're all good. 
Thank you. And I, I still have nine minutes. So uh, what we were just talking about, and, and this will be of importance, Maria. Let me share my screen. Hold on. I'm not sharing my screen here. Okay. So on, we were just talking about WordPress. And we were talking about uh, on Panya's, on here, this is a, a, a blog I just started. So I what I was trying to, to find was that header. Normally that header is under customize, but I don't see it here. Oh, and it might be because of my website. You know what I mean? It may not be, normally it would be here, uh, Panya, to see the header. It's called a header. And that's where you can switch the picture on there, on your homepage. So, uh, so Maria, since you're here, what we were talking about is you have to go to customize and then you have to go to menus and you have to be sure you hit primary and this is on and then you add your pages which are here. So if I uh, do home, you see home is now there. And, and this is how you get your pages to be seen. So now you see I can have that. So if I open this up, I can delete that. Oh, see, that's new. There used to be mouse down and delete. Now it's an X. So you see that makes it public. And then you save the changes. So I don't know if that was the issue for you, but anyway. And then the settings down here, the settings are for you to change the title so that it says exactly what you want it to say. So that's it. That's the site title on, on there for the homepage. Okay, since we have uh, seven minutes now, I want to go back to um, uh, the motion, uh, the motion tween. I mean, not the motion tween, the, the video timeline. So on here, um, this is what we talked about importing into Illustrator, right? And again, uh, being able to scale things down and having them in a particular order. So let me show you this example uh, that I have open. Let me open this motion, high motion here. So on this one where I have built already the timeline, uh, let's see where we have this. So this is where if you see, like right now my timeline is off, let me put it back on there. Now I have it and you roll over, you see that cursor? That helps you to go up and down the timeline. So it's a little tricky if you've never done a Photoshop timeline before. So let me go back uh, where we were on this one. So let's talk about some of the things to make what we want to have happen. So you could use the text tool, don't forget. Uh, you can you know, copy the word, the text tools right here. And up here on the upper uh, gives you the ability to make your text. And so um, again, here's your color and so forth. Now, when you have something that is difficult to see, um, uh, when you have a pattern on top of something, this is a trick where if you can't see your type because of something like this, let's just turn this all off. And, you know, it looks like this is kind of hard right here to see, right? Uh, if you zoom back, mask is very visible. That's what you want. All you have to do is come up here to layer style, put an outer glow on it, and you can actually choose from the picture. And then what you do is this is outer glow. And so then you can decide upon how much of a spread you want. And that helps you to see your text on top of patterns. Really good trick because often, you know, type uh, visuals are always uh, distracting from the type. So when you bring in your uh, the words for your activities or even your symbol, 
If it's getting lost in the photograph, remember that you can apply the outer glow, okay? So that's important to remember on that. And again, don't start your timeline until you've prepared all the layers. Did anyone get a chance to work on that? Any questions? No. Okay, so- Can I share um, my screen like really quick? No. Share your screen? Okay. Yeah, let me unscre uh, share mine. The no. other thing, the other thing no. I just wanted to mention, go ahead, uh, that I didn't mention is to create a storyboard. So Alicia, before we share your screen. Oh, oh sorry. No, no, go, go, you're good, go ahead. Uh, I was wondering if this is correct because I'm really confused. <laughs> I put all my pictures here. Okay. I'm also this wondering if it's too many. Uh, we're in Photoshop, right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. It's 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 not because you may not use them all, but you have them ready to be used. Right. You know, so you can turn them off and so forth. The important thing is. Uh, like, for instance, if you show this image, you don't want black on both sides. You would make a layer that's all white. Oh, okay. You see? So you yeah. want to avoid, when you have verticals, you want to be sure that the verticals become horizontals by filling the background mm -hmm. with a layer. Right? You could do it with the layer or you could fill it on this actual slide. And what you do is you make sure you choose from the color of the picture because if you just choose pure white you probably will see a line yeah i drop i drop yeah. you always want to that's the eyedropper mm -hmm. just use the eyedropper the eyedropper will pick up any color that you have but no this is exactly right so what you need to do now is think about the type the text <laughs> right you can copy and paste from illustrator mm -hmm. um you can you know into a text tool you can actually um, export your text as well from Illustrator, mm. just like all the graphics. It's up to you, either Illustrator or Photoshop, wherever you want to build it. Wherever you are, that outer glow will work on any, any uh, pictorial element, whatever okay. it is. As long as, as long as there is transparency in the pictorial. If you have an image that's like the one right down on the bottom, which is an egg, I think it is, Yes. Right? That's an egg. That, is that, an egg. that fills the screen. So you wouldn't see the outer glow on that. Right? Because the egg is actually um, supposed to, some of these images are really large. So that egg is actually two eggs in a pot. Ah, so you have to scale it down. Yeah. Yeah. So do all that scaling before you start your timeline. Okay. Um, okay, but good. We'll good. So you. I'm going to show you something on storyboarding. Uh, let me share my screen here. Uh, we have less than a minute. All right, our next time that we come back is going to be, um, it's three o'clock now, four o'clock. So if I get cut off, I want you to, uh, I don't want to jump because I may get cut off. We'll talk about storyboards and storyboards will help you to organize as well. But time is really your element on that layers. The bottom layer is the morning, the top layer is the evening. Okay, so uh, anyway, it's less than a minute. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna wave goodbye and I will see you at four o'clock. So good to see your faces, everyone. I'm glad you're doing well. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hold for a sec. <laughs> Let's go to the browser. If you could check mine too at some point, that would be okay. Really yeah, let's go to Panya's. Let's see. In fact, mine as well. Ah, much better, Panya. <laughs> much better, right? Now I feel like I know who I'm at, what side I'm at. Exactly. <laughs> so that's really that's really hoping. So now home, you could say welcome to Panya's uh, portfolio. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Or something. Yeah. You know, like th there could be a word. Can you, um, in, in Thailand, can you type your letters in here? You could do that in Photoshop. And then, oh no, you ha it, has um, be, it has to be text. It has to be text. Yeah. It's not an image. That's right. It's not an image. Can you do the keyboard stroke to your alphabet? No. 
No. I mean, yeah, I can do from uh, Google Translate. Right, but you can't, because uh, what I'm wondering, so your keyboard, it doesn't type it, right? No, no, the keyboard is lesson. I thought we could do that. I thought the keyboard could type any alphabet. Maybe I'm I really know. shy, but I don't know how you know to what? do. I, you know what? I'll Google it for you because I'm curious. Because um, if, if you have like an Apple device, you can change the language, and it should give you a key keyboard for whatever it is. There you go, Pena. See? Oh. Okay. Yeah. See, see, everyone who's international. What do you want me to do? You can in your Apple. Uh, you want me to type in my language? Yeah. Home. Oh. Okay. It'd be super cool. The, when someone knows another language, I just want to, you know, we, unfortunately, me, me, right? Most Americans have, uh, who are, who only know <laughs> one language. When you know a second language, you are so at right. an advantage. You are like way ahead of the game. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. So you want to be proud with that language and um, it's, it's just super cool, right? It's one of those things where I wish, I wish uh, when I was in uh, elementary school, I wish they taught us a, a language then. We're way behind the times. Anyway, because okay. I just love the way it looks, right? The alphabet, <laughs> the alphabet looks super cool. And plus, you know, you've got your, your, your signature, which is great. You got that in there, that looks really nice. So now here, this is great. So now you have the digital fundamentals, good. And this is your bio and this is I your I put home. on the... Uh, yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. So now what I would do, and I'm speaking for everyone as I speak to uh, Pena, and I wanna look at the other um, sites as well. Do remember that you can now make a page called Portfolio and put your best work up there. I don't care what it is. Just Every best, work? Yeah. In, 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 in this okay. blog right here, make a page called Portfolio and put your other work from other courses. I don't care if you did it in high school, doesn't matter. Put your best pieces in there. Okay, that's for everyone. Make a portfolio page. And the reason why you do that, because if you get an email and somebody wants to see your work, you can slam in that page right there in an email and they're good. They're good to go. Sure. So it's very important to have things ready. Another thing I want you guys to do, I, I was going to talk about this later, but since we're on it now, uh, create Adobe Creative Suite has an online portfolio. It's called Behance. B-E-H-A-N-C-E -E dot net. It's not like Beyonce. <laughs> it's Behance. Hmm. I don't know why they have that word. It's, it's the strangest of words, but it is an online portfolio. So it's very good to, um, it's very good to put your best work up there. It's part of Adobe Creative Suite. A lot of art directors go to that site. And all they do is just, you know, they, they, they peruse until they see something. And then that's when you get opportunities. So it's very important to, to get your work on online portfolio sites. Uh, and, and just maybe three pieces, right? Three pieces that are, that's, that is your signature pieces. So that looks great. Is this charcoal, Panya? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I just finished that yesterday. <laughs> ah, it's awesome. Really awesome. Really nice. I like the COVID. Here we are. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's go to, um, now did you want to show me, I saw, I saw your uh, yeah. layout, so you're all good there, right? The, the, did you put the signature the poster, on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. So I will let you to check if anything and where did you, you put want it me here? to add on. Which um, page? On the capture, capture con okay. contract sheet. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Nice. Okay, great. Let's take a look at this. And the bottom. So, and the bottom one too. Okay, so here's, here. I'm glad you put this up here. 
here's what's important. Number one, you want to be sure that WordPress shows it to us big, right? Let me, I'm going to get this bigger here. So maybe I, maybe I was small. Let me see here. You know how I tell? I just go to like, I go to the New York Times and I see if I'm big or small in my browser by the New York Times. So I'm, I'm okay. So I'm, I'm kind of zoomed in on you right now. Right? So I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm zoomed in. Yeah, you so, right click, though. so let, let's talk about this. So, so Panya, here's something that's very important. Number one, you want to get a lot of space. Make your artboard bigger. Ah, uh, okay. See how tight you are here? You yeah. should have at least an inch of white over here. So uh, open up your artboard and literally make like a very thin line to demark between what is inside and what is outside. You see what I'm saying? So that we can see yeah. exactly that it's not just floating on white, that you've encapsulated it like a poster, you know, with a, a rectangle around, you know, and, and so forth. Fine. Okay. I like what you did with the signature here. This is good. This is great. But up here, <laughs> typeface, pretty boring, Pena. You can find a better typeface than that. Okay. <laughs> Find a better so typeface. You will let me to decide well, on that. Okay. Well, here's what's important. What typeface is the activities? What typeface did you use on the What activity? do you mean? What typeface? Do you know what I mean by typeface? The font. Ah. Uh, what font? Um on on the activities. I don't remember the, the name of the font. I think okay. it's Tammy Lomin, the regular one. Okay. So use that font for this. You see? You want to okay. keep, you remember, you, uh, remember in graphic design, you got to keep your type fonts consistent. The same one? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because you want it to relate to the poster design. You see? Okay. Now this is, this is great on here, on the study. When, once you get more room on this, this is good. My question would be, you, you don't have it in any particular order. So, or is it, is it in the order? Yeah, it starts from sleep, go up to the- To the top, Go to okay. the right. So where is night? No, time? it starts from the bottom. It stops on the bottom. So you're sleeping, yeah. and then you study, and then it starts all over again, right? If you, if you it did a cycle. So after your nap, you study, and then you go back to sleep? No. Right. <laughs> First, you, you start from sleep, and then you go, like, wake up, start right. from the bottom, go to the top. And then you go all the way up to the top to study. What ha when, when do you go back to bed? After study? Oh, I know ah, what you mean. You see what I mean? I, I just try to show like one of them. I don't want to repeat, you know? Right, right. Oh, so you want me to like, okay, I know. I well, know. I'm trying to think what it would be. You have coffee, transportation, work, lunch, school, break, workout, milkshake. <laughs> Is that, did I say milkshake? After, uh, after workout, I like to go for milkshake. <laughs> nice, I, know, I don't blame you on that. <laughs> Let me, I'm gonna try to get this together. Milkshake. Ah. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a this this color down here on the walk is hard to read. Okay. I mean, just from uh, you know, looking at it from here. Uh, and yeah, see, it's hard also yeah, to white. see up here. I change it. So in other words, this is literally white is one. You are like one point five right here. This is probably three right here in value. So make this a two. You see? Okay. So this is probably a three. This is like a 1.5. Might want to go a little darker on that value. Um, 
So uh, on here, so this looks like the same font, but is bold. And then you would use the same font up here. Now on your signature, that looks great. That looks really good. So that's all you really need is to um, get that white around, get that rectangle so that you have that pencil thin rectangle and then white on the outside of the rectangle. Because what okay. you want to eventually do is, uh, is, for, is print this. That'd be a really fun thing to print. It'd be very good quality. Um, and then this way. How big do you want? Uh, One inch? It, don't worry about the size. Just bump it out from where you have on the artboard. From what I see yeah. right now, I would go at least two inches out. Two inches. Two inches. So an inch from here, rectangle line, and then another inch. Right? And that's two inches. So an So inch how would I make it? Artboard. I said the paper. No, the artboard. Uh, Your artboard. Okay. Yeah, as soon as you go to the artboard, just pull it out. All right. Yeah. And then it'll be good. And then change the font on that. And you'll be good. You'll be done. Because you want to have a okay. lot of room on stuff. So that looks really good. Yeah. It's really fun to do this. I can't Thank wait. You. I'm going to uh, kind of promote this to the college to show everyone. Because I'm so thrilled at the work that you guys are doing. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, Alicia, let's see what you have. Um, Alicia, yeah, it's on my uh, website now. I just put everything up. Oh, I love these little guys. Look at that. So which one, where, where, where did you put, place it on capture? Um, oh, oh thank you, by the way. But yeah, it's in data visualization. Oh, much better, much better. Yeah. Great, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now let me, um, let me zoom in here. All right, all right. Also really very super cool. All right. So now here, let's t let's do a little bit of some uh, design here. Mm -hmm. So one thing I think is important is I would get yourself space between these things so that they're okay. not so tight. Okay, sure. It'll feel a lot more like it's floating. I love how they're close together. So um, so that so in in some way. What size, is this 13 by 19? Um, it's 11 by 17. Bump it out, bump it, bump it way out. So you have more room to breathe. I'm actually doing that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be good. You'll, you'll be good on that. So then um, the other thing too is I don't think you have to box your name. Oh, and I the title. Think, yeah, the in the title one. I think you can do um, I would probably lower the symbols down here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this way you're going to have all this space right here for your title. So don't box the title or the name or yeah. don't box. Yeah, so hold, hold for a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower your symbol box down to here. Bring that okay. down, right? Mm -hmm. Almost leveled with this right here. That's why we love, that's why we call grid. When we're working in graphic design, it's called the grid. You bring your ruler down, so you want to bring that bottom down the same as that. Mm -hmm. So it lines across with that, right? Right. Then you have everything open. Then bring your avatar over here to your left. Okay. And then on your avatar, you need to get some pink in you in here. I know. Maybe, maybe huh. another circle, mm -hmm. right? Uh, do a stroke, uh, get a circle behind it, pink. Maybe paint behind it, mm -hmm. right? Okay. okay. And you see the black that you have on this line? I would use the gray. See how you have gray on your strokes here? Or is that black? Well, wouldn't one, it, um, with one the is gray and one is black. No, am I like seeing things? No, they're all black. Um, all right, so it's just because, okay, good. I, I, I couldn't see, that's fine, then keep it that way. Um, okay. only because I was going to just say, if it was gray, then keep it consistently gray, but because it's black, just keep it black. Okay, cool. And, uh, now can I ask you something? This is important. Did you guys make this 
did, did you guys, Alicia, Alicia, did you, did you make this a symbol? Um, which one? The, which? These, these icons. Remember the symbol library? Or did you make them just a, a duplicate layer? When you use, you see how you have one, two, three, you have three of these. You see how you have one, one, two, three. Did you duplicate the layers or did you make them be symbols? I'm just curious. Sorry, I got kicked out. Um, wait, what? <laughs> okay, you see how you have, you, you repeat things, right? You have one, two, three. Mm -hmm. My question in making it, did you make yeah. it a duplicate layer or did you make it a symbol? Um, I made a duplicate and then I put it in a, in a folder altogether. Okay, great. So let's talk about that. Okay. This is a, this is a um, really important conversation for everybody. When you have something like this and you're repeating it, you want to make it a symbol. I hate to say it, Alicia, right? Because in Flash, all I can oh my say God, is yeah. make a symbol, make a symbol, make a symbol. <laughs> it actually is the same thing for here. Now, why do I say that? When you make pictorial elements and you're using them repeatedly, like we have here, when you make it a symbol, like I was going, and, I, and here, here's, this is, this is something that would be good for you to do. Being the obnoxious art director, right? That's what I'm being, I'm being the obnoxious art director. I'm like going, I would love to see a little bit more space around here so you're not crowded in that circle, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you had made it a symbol, it would change it for all of them. Oh yeah, that's really useful. Now, yeah. we're smart at this, you just delete the others and duplicate again, right? Mm -hmm. That's all, that's what we used to do before they put symbols in there, literally. But imagine if you had 20 of these, right? What a mm -hmm. headache. Yeah. So just remember that. Now let me, um, I wanna show you that in Illustrator. So sure. let me try to pick something up that I have here that I can show you. Let's pick up, uh, I think I have uh, Oksana's here, right? Let's do that. Okay, so like I wanna make, I want to use this in, in a symbol. So you call up the symbol library, and here's the symbol library. Now, when you do the, I don't, I don't know why this doesn't have symbols, but anyway, let me just show you some symbols. So here's nature, right? And so I can drag and drop these into here. Now, these are really good things to use because here, I don't, I, I don't need Oxenas here. You can, Literally, you drag and drop them like this, you see? Mm. And you yeah. have them repeated. And yes, they are layers, and yes, you put them in, and they, you know, uh, in a grouping and so forth. But if I wanted to double click this, you see now I'm actually in the symbol. I'll zoom in, and if I wanted to change this, you see? I'm gonna ungroup this and probably ungroup it a couple of times. And what, what I wanted to do is to edit it. So let me see here, right, okay, the, there we go. Now you see how I'm ungrouping it and I'm just gonna rotate it just to show you, right? I could spend some time changing this, but you can do that if you just keep ungrouping. You'll eventually get to uh, breaking it completely apart like this, you see? Mm -hmm. You see how I kept ungrouping, ungrouping, ungrouping? You often have to do that. And see, now I can change this color. Now watch what happens when I jump out. Well, supposed to, yep, there it is. Yeah. Zoom in. Now, theoretically, you see how it changed it for all of them. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why, what it should have done that it didn't do, it should have asked me and said, you sure you want to edit the master symbol? Right? Oh, I'm right. running out of time. 
do you sure you want to edit the master symbol? And I would say, sure. Or maybe I don't, right? I would, that would, maybe I don't want to do that. Then I would go in there and I would duplicate that symbol, have a master and have another one that's different. Yeah. So that's exactly. what I meant on that, Alicia. Because some of my, some of my, uh, well, they're not symbols, but some of my, um, I'll just call them symbols. They're, uh, they're the same and they're in the same layer. They look the same, but I want them to be a different size. Right. Depending on where they are in the graph. So that's a perfect example. Yeah, exactly. So that will help you with that. But did you notice, uh, because I have nine minutes now, did you notice everyone when I double clicked up oh, there it goes. So, oh, oh, I know why it didn't ask me. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I hate when the computer is smarter than me, right? I double clicked in here. So it assumed you're in the master symbol library. You must want to change that. Watch what happens when I double click. I'm in the symbol. Oh, I see. You see, uh, right up here. Yeah. And so I edited it. But when I come out of there, and if I double click this, that's when it asks me, you sure you want to, uh, do you want to do this if you want to make this change? And that's why, what I was looking for. Okay. I forgot that I had double clicked up here. So these are kind of things that I, I'd like to continue talking through using more of the Illustrator tools. I don't know if any of you guys checked out the pattern tutorial I gave you and that mandala tutorial. They are super cool. Now, the, mon the, the, the pattern is pretty easy, the pattern one, but the mandala is very tricky. So if anyone wants to know how to do that, just let me know and I'll help you walk through that. Because it's, it's a little, um, it doesn't really give you, uh, it, it kind of just runs through the tools. I can figure it out, but I don't know if you can. And it's so fun. It's really fun to do it. So definitely check out those tutorials. I'll render this out. And um, any other good questions or anyone uh, want to see anything that we could look at? Wait, just one more question. Oksana, right? Okay, you Oksana, can you look like you're in a window, a display, <laughs> a store window. <laughs> All right, let's look at Oksana's here. Uh, let me get to my site. Uh, here we go. Visit site. And... No, you're here. There we go. Nope. Yep. That's it. Okay. Uh, which one? Data? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. So these are your exact. Great. Uh, nice, Oksana. Really nice. Let's take a look. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully your site is big. I, I just make sure you're really nice typeface. This is what I was talking about, Panya. Ah, uh, there he's got the he's got that setting also now. <laughs> now you look like you're on another planet, Pena. <laughs> but Pena, you see that <laughs> you see that typeface that uh, Oksana has. Oh. Uh, yeah, make them okay. really don't don't use some boring typeface. Use the typeface that you have, and that's fine to do. That would be fine as well. Okay. Oh, lovely! Yeah. I love how you're painting outside the lines. Yeah, I was trying to make uh, like a uh, watercolor effect. Yep, yep, absolutely. So let me, um, let, let's, let's kind of look at this for a second on here. So one of the things that uh, on the layout, I, I would recommend the same thing as I said. Um, now you see, I wouldn't, I think on, on uh, Alicia, she has a background color. So her rectangle is already there. But because your impanas are on white, I would also make a white a rectangle, a like thin rectangle on the outside, so we know when space begins and when it ends. You know what I mean, Oksana? Yeah, but uh, if I make it white, then you can. See. Right, but make 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 the the color of the stroke. You know, this is a rectangle that has a stroke. It could be one pixel big, really thin. Uh, you can make it the same color. You don't have to make it black. I would not make it black. I would make it like a, a light gray of some sort. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's important. 
So um, now what, what Oksana has done here is very much done like an illustration of these, her activities. You would not necessarily, it, it is data visualization, but we don't know how much time, like are your fun activities, uh, oh, and you also have um, the typeface wrong here, right? This needs to be the same uh, font size. Yeah, I didn't change. Right, that, that's an easy fix. And, and the same thing down here. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep the, the, the type size should be like this, the social media, whatever point size that is, Oksana. Mm -hmm. So now here's something where um, I'm going to have Oksana do this. I'm, I'm going to have her do an iteration of this. So um, definitely keep the same array. Now here's what's important. And this goes back to graphic design fundamentals. Remember, the distance between here and there has got to be the same everywhere. You see that? You see the distance? And this is a good distance. This is a good distance from here. So that from here to there has to be the same distance. OK? Then you'll see it to be much better rounder. In fact, what you should do, and this is where we use other picture elements to help us guide, is you should make another circle. Make another circle coming directly from the center out so that, and then make sure that all the objects are on that circle. Then you turn that circle off. That helps you to ballpark the object so that it's a, like, cause your circle is a little off. You're a little to the right of it than to the left of it. You see everything on this side is closer than everything on that side to that circle. Okay? So that's what I would tweak, Oksana, on that. So these are just notes that we're giving each other. So that's number, so the other thing that I'd like you to do is, interestingly enough, because you have this circle thing going on, you could have, if you put that other circle, I wish I, oh, you have my screen. So I, no, I can't do that. I'm not an illustrator. So um, make that other circle, have that come out. That other circle can be somewhat of a radiation, like you're uh, radiating from your logo and so forth. And you want, to, you want to be sure not to have this uh, gray line there. Your forehead, this color should go right up to that forehead. You don't want that gray, you don't want that stroke right here in your forehead. Take that out. Okay. You, want that, you, you want your forehead go all the way up to your hairline up there. And so what I was trying to do, what I was trying to think of was creating the percentage so, so definitely think of radiating out. So here's one circle, which will line up all the pictorial elements. And then uh, let's uh, send this to me. And um, because what I'm trying to figure out is how can we scale this in some way? It could be a circle behind your elements. Just a faint image though. You see how you have geometric shapes here? You could bring out certain activities. And so my question would be, how much time, like your time is social media, sleeping, waking up. So you see getting ready, waking up would be before getting ready. Oksana, you see the logical sequence that yeah, we were talking about? Ooh, right, right. Now, the, the thing about this chronological thing, um, the chronological context, oh, I have less than a minute. Oh, my gosh. So before I talk anymore, yeah. Oksana, I'm going to say goodbye to everyone, but definitely do the fixes that we talked about for Oksana, OK? Mm -hmm. Oksana, you have to say, you have to say, okay. Yeah. Yes, okay, good. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to think about this.
We're going to go a little bit further into Photoshop. Let me show you the storyboard first. So I'll go to browser. And Donovan, we want to take a look at your WordPress as well. Did I put you up here, Donovan? Yeah. Okay. So Donovan, where do you have these posters? Day in my life. That's a good place to play, put it. So we saw your symbols. Do you have your poster layout? Oh. You know, the one, like the way we just saw Yamalats this afternoon. I mean, yeah, this afternoon. Yeah. I'll check right now. I might not. You may not have put it up, so just put it up and we'll see it next week, okay? Yeah. You want to get you want to get your avatar in there, the symbols, the whole layout. I have my avatar up there. Right. That week, did you work on it? Yeah. Oh, good. 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 How do you know what? Try to get WordPress to be large. Make these image be really big. I see. I I'm, I'm gonna blow oh. it up now. You see, I can't get I can't get it to be big. Oh, this is excellent. Much better. I love it. I love it, Donovan. Great hair. That's a that's a great brush and illustrator. Yeah, it's it was it was hard to like figure out like my hair and like the highlights and like. I like because the highlights in my hair are subtle things. It's good. It's all good. The other thing I want to tell you, uh, so definitely uh, get the poster together. Finish up, you know, get them. I love the shirt. The way you, the, you did the shirt is really good as well. But the avatar looks great. I'm going to make, uh, once you get your poster together, I'll give you a few more <laughs> points. But I want to see it first on the poster. So Donovan, how did you manage to get the to get the stripe thing on the hair? How'd you get the uh, brush pull? Under the brushes, the um, I forget what specific brush. But. You can find it. you Donovan's right, Sean. Just call up the brushes. You'll see that brush style. It's hard to remember it because it's a number, right, Donovan? Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's a specific one. I I can remember off the top of my head. Yeah, it's um. Let me see if I do the brushes here. Don't forget, you have all these brushes down here, Sean. Got it. Yeah, that's where you go looking. That's where Donovan got his brushes. Okay. So um, the other thing, uh, Donovan, you see how your shirt is right here? Yeah. Bring I... it down. Bring that down. Don't make that line there. Bring it down. Make this be all the white. Oh, okay. Yep. All the way down. Okay. Yep, to the edge. That's right. Looking good, looking good. So next week we'll take a look at your poster. You can always send it to me earlier if you get it done. So like, actually, um, <clears throat> okay. Could you show me examples of the posters so I could take pictures of it and remember what we were supposed to do? Yeah, Sean. Let me f uh, answer Panya's question first. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, 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 Professor. Yeah. Oksana cannot get in the live again. You cannot get into what? Oksana, she could not come oh, into Oksana's the Oh, Oksana's out again. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> what happened to Oksana? Hold on, let me stop sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you guys have each other's texts, let me tell you. So, so I, I, I hardly talk on the phone. It's either text or email. That is it. Hi, Oksana, we lost you. Okay, so we're going to come back to that, and Sean, I'll show you some posters, okay? So, okay. I, so 
Let me just share I, the screen and I'm gonna show you some examples here. And then we're gonna, I wanna show you some more timeline tools. So I let's just take a, take a, let's take a look at this. So Sean, remember, just Google data visualization, go to images. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to find something that you like about some of these data visualizations. So you're showing me the examples. Many examples for you to choose. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. You're gonna choose the style and feel that you want us to look at, okay? okay. See where we're going with this? You need to, you need to find your creative uh, sense with what you're looking for to be able to do what you like. Okay. Okay? <laughs> I am not one of those kind of instructors that tell everybody what to do. You gotta, I just give you guidelines. And then you find your way and find your own style. So um, let's go to Maria. Did you have any questions on WordPress? Maria, I don't, I, I see Maria. Yes. So can you click on my name? Because I upload my avatar on my WordPress, but it okay. shows like a little window saying something. Okay, so let's see if, in other words, can we see it, right? Yeah, it says my avatar. Good. Yeah, Good. that one. So it's, at least it's public. Yeah. yeah. So, so you the page is here. Yes. You, did you upload your image? Yes. Was it a PDF or a, a JPEG? A JPEG. <laughs> So why would I not see it? I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. So, um, I'll just keep trying, I guess. Well, the thing is, there's something going on. You, and you said you kept getting errors. Can we screen? Uh, let's, I want to unshare. Maria, let's share your screen. Sure. Uh, sure. Let's troubleshoot this for uh, Maria so she can get past this because it's quite frustrating. Okay. Okay. So let's. My avatar. Oh, your avatar is great. That looks really good. Again, the same thing that I said to Donovan on the bottom. <laughs> Just I was bring that down. Right now. Yep. Bring that down to fit the curve, but everything looks really nice. And really nice. that's my data thing. Okay. Great. So now, what? Where are your colors? Where do you want to put the colors? I, I changed my mind. I decided just to keep the color, but I don't Black know. Black and white? Yeah. So what, here's what I recommend. Not be just black and white. Do a monochromatic gray. Okay. Right? Because imagine black to be sleep and imagine wake up and chores to be maybe a light gray. Yes, 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 yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So, uh, yes, yeah. So this, yeah, because... The important thing about data visualization is that the visuals are giving you a narrative about how much. Now, the important thing to remember is if you do this kind of vertical situation, this width should be exactly the same width for everything. The difference is the heights. Okay. You see? Yes. So you want to uh, be able to get that to be, um, you know, exactly the width. Okay. It's the height that is the percentage. <laughs> okay. And then what you want to do is you want to be sure that you have enough room around the edges that you can expand your artboard, which is this guy right here on the left, your tool artboard, because you need to bring your avatar in. Yeah, that's why I emailed you because I didn't know uh, like how to do that. You you literally select your avatar, copy paste, and then I put it right here. Right. Well, that's what you. This is now you're looking at doing a graphic design poster layout. Mm -hmm. You need to give yourself more room, right around the edges. You see how close you are here. Yes. Right. Very important, and give yourself some space. You're gonna put your. You're gonna put your. Um, your avatar here, you've got the time, you've got the activities, but now your avatar has color. Okay. Right? Yes. Now you're up to a challenge right now. <laughs> what, I, what I could recommend is that, a couple of things, you could put gradients on this. You know what I mean by a gradient? Yes. 
So you might want to rethink your color scheme by bringing in your avatar. So maybe so that, I can do one gray? Well, you know, you could do, um, you could do this back, your background in gray, mm -hmm. and then have your, your face and everything else be your uh, color that you have, right? No. And also, you want to have your name be something a little bit more interesting than just uh, laying it on top there. Okay. You could, you could have it right on a curve, right? Yes. And have you done the curve, uh, writing on a curve? No. Okay, so I can show you that. That's a really, really great tool in Illustrator. And um, um, is, 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 uh, Yamalat, is the uh, type tool on a curve in InDesign? Um, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that's a really critical tool. And so I'll show that to you, Maria. Maria, let's jump, let's jump now. So definitely start thinking about, uh, you. now you did do a gradient here. So just the same way you did the gradient there would be what you could put in the, uh, the verticals of your layout. Okay. okay no problem. Let's go to your WordPress now. Okay. You have a lot of programs open, I can see. <laughs> that's where your memory, that's where your memory goes down. Well, like your PowerPoint. That's my okay, PowerPoint. so let's, yeah, go to your, uh, let's see here. Yeah, go to Avatar. And it's right there. Okay, so now, okay, go, uh, now stay there. Okay. Um, let me move over here. Now come over to your upper right. Okay. Uh, mouse it down on those circ uh, the cir those three circles on the right. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Visual editor. Okay. Now the settings, the, the setting tools, the gears on the top. On the top, that one right. Okay. So now let's take a look at that. Visibility public, published. Um, ba, 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 ba. let's see here. Um, you are slug. Let's see here. Uh, zoom up again. Uh, let's do preview. That's the problem. All right. So go back again. Back to that page. Go to status and visibility. Over here. Yeah. Um, let's see, publish, what is today? Yeah, I think that you're past that date. Yeah. Um, what the heck is going on here? Um, ba 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 let's see here. Well, let's go to switch to draft. All right, say published. Mm, yeah, do you want me to publish again? Yeah, publish, say publish. <laughs> Wait, 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 oh, wait, oh, no. Your avatar is live now. Now go to preview. No. All right, go back again. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's see here. If you show this, you show this. Let's go back. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's go to page address. Do view page over here on the right. <coughs> If you share this page as you're trying to go, please contact us. You know what? Contact them. I did. <laughs> Any response? I let me. Yeah, I uh, I saw something, but um, something something's not locked. Did you activate your WordPress in your email? I'm not sure. I understand. <laughs> that was a that was an AI voice right there. Yeah. Um, do a search on your, um, in your mailbox. Yeah, do a search. Oh, right here, it's right here. All right. Um, do, do a search in all your emails for WordPress. It's you know right what I mean? When you're trying to find someone, like an old email. Yeah, can you see it? It's right here. It says, hi there. It looks like you may be working on your site at my... Uh, 
Are you still unavailable to publish a page? If okay. so, can you tell us more about what you're doing to attempt to publish a page and what you're expecting to happen once it's published? For example, are you clicking to publish button, but you're not able to find it on your site? Yeah, I would reply to that, but can you do a search in your emails for all your WordPress? You know how to do a search? Yeah. Oh. And then, you don't know how to do a search? Let's see here. Um, where's your search? Um, uh, go to your, that icon on the upper right here, next to sort date. Oh, no. No, not that one. Over right here by sort date, a little below. This one? Yeah, that one. Open that up. No. Um, what mail program is this? Oh, the one that, oh, here, it's right here. All right, yeah. Do just WordPress. Word. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. No, no, just type it all out. Okay. And then hit return. And make it sharp. All right, let's see. Uh, so you don't, it looks like you, ha you haven't gotten the original, uh, the, the activation. Do you delete your emails? Yeah, I keep doing that. Don't delete emails. <laughs> don't delete emails. Just, uh, just, just put them in a important, important emails. You make a folder and you put them all in there. Very important to keep your emails, especially when you're working with people. Okay. So anyway, see if you can get word back from that, Maria. <laughs> And then maybe schedule a time with me so we can kind of get together to do this. There's something really uh, very simple to be done. Both is small flaps down. But your avatar looks great and your, and your poster is coming along well. So what's our next assignment? After That's the timeline that we're doing with, um, uh, I'm going to show you that uh, curve in Illustrator. So if you unshare. Sure. And let me, uh, I'm going to share, let me, uh, Santa, what? Just like this. Oksana lost again for I know, I just got I just let her in. I just let her in. <laughs> Oksana, what's going on over there? Let's see here. Okay, so here we go. I want to show she you. She lost her first. connect. And she's back now. I see that she's back. Oh, little attention. So let me show you the illustrator uh path on the on the on that one. It's very simple for everybody. Get them back, thank you. So uh Oksana, this is good because I know you like illustrators. So this is uh creating a path on, type on a path. So I'm gonna make a circle. Wait, let me just get some layers down here. So I make a circle like this. For the right. And I'm just gonna make it a stroke. Let's get it stronger though, so you guys can see it. Then. All right, so there, can everyone see that stroke? Yes. The circle, yeah, okay, good. And then you basically take your type tool, you mouse down, I am type on a path, okay? And then you have up here uh, all your characters. So when you just click on it, it will change, you see? Now this is a really tricky uh, tool. What you have to remember is that when you go to your black arrow, you, you hover over certain icons like this. You see, it's very cryptic. And this way you can move it. You can move it in make the text a circle. and out like this. You see, Maria? Maria, are you with us? Yes. Yeah, so you can see how you, I'm dragging it in and I'm dragging it out. Mm -hmm. And so that's how you do the text on a tool. So and then, how do you... So how did you make the text the circle? No, first you make the circle, Sean. So if I back this up, if I back this up, you make the circle first, Sean, then you take the type tool, mouse down, get type on a path, and then you you click on the path. And I got it. Yeah, that's it, Sean, exactly. Okay. And then the, the tricky part, is you get to the black arrow, and then that gives you, you roll over that opposite end, and now you can drag it in or drag it out. Yeah. So these are very helpful. This is also very good 
if you wanted to um, force type to be within a particular area, that's how you can do like a, uh, an illustration using uh, type. That's a very uh, unique technique. Okay, let me get to the Photoshop. So in Photoshop, let's, let's do a couple of things that you can see. So basically, getting all your photographs into Photoshop from the day in the life that you took back in, gosh, was it February, I think, February? And get it in order. The bottom layers are the morning, the top layers are your <laughs> uh, after uh, evening. And I'm gonna show you this timeline here. So again, the timeline as it is, like right now, if I played this, we would only see, turn this on. You see, everything was on right now. See, everything is turned on. But if I didn't want to see it at that particular time, I would move this, I'm gonna delete this one. I would, if I wanted to see that first, you see, you can roll over and shorten it. And maybe I wanna see this one, and you also can move these things up. So I want, I wanna get this mask to come in. So what you see is literally what you get. Now I have stretched this out. Let me get this so I can see it. I have stretched this out. Uh, and here's your play control. So when I play, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. So that's about 15 seconds right there. So you can see it right on the timeline. So right here is about 15 seconds. So depending on how long you want your video to be, as I said before, I would do it between 15 seconds and a minute. But if you have uh, a voiceover, if you have music, you could go to three minutes, the song. You could go the entire song. Songs are mostly three minutes. Any pop song is usually about three minutes. So now I'm gonna stretch this out so you can see that. So I've made this now be the length that I wanna stretch this out, bring this in. So you hover over it and you just bring it in And I wanna show you how to keyframe in here. So you can see how easy it is. So right now my black, I'm happy with my black, so I'm gonna lock it. It's the duration that I want it to be. And now um, let me do the mask here. Let me zoom out. And let me show you how to do the keyframing. So I want this mask, let's see how long it plays. So if you hit the space bar, it will play. That's a little too short, so I'm gonna stretch it out. I don't want this yet, I don't want this yet, I don't want that yet. So I'm just working right now with this. Let me see how that plays. Nope, I want it sooner. Bring it closer, bring it closer. Bring it back. Rewind, space bar, all right, that's good enough. So now I want it to fade on. So I mouse down here, I drag and drop the fade. Now I, I play it back, it's whoops, don't want that to happen. I'm in a text tool, gotta get out of that. So I, I rewind again, push that back, space bar play, like the fade, fade is good. Now, I'm going to do the keyframing. I want the mask to come in from the right. So you've got to get it right to the beginning. And more than likely, you'll probably have position. I have transform on, uh, and I'll show you how to do that next week. All you're trying to do is what we call a rough cut. A rough cut is just the timing, how long something is that we see and to the next slide, to the next slide, to the next slide, it's all about timing. So you really should pick up 
your uh, music. Think about the music that you want to put to this uh, video that you're going to make, which is a day in your life. So now I'm going to uh, keyframe, I'm going to move my text, highlight the text, I'm going to move the text to the right. Now if you put the shift key down, it, it will keep it aligned. I'll start it about here, and then I click here, keyframe. I just locked that position. Now I'm going to uh, play it to see how well I want the timing to be. That's good enough timing to come on, but I've got to have a hold. And I got to have the hold with the face. So now I'm going to bring this in, know where the marker is. That's important to know where the marker is. Now I'm going to bring in this shift key, keep it aligned. And now that is the keyframe and it will make the keyframe for you automatically. This is exactly how After Effects works. It will make the keyframe for you when you have changed it from the previous keyframe, which is really nice to do that. So now I'm going to scrub it. Scrubbing means you take the time bar and you scrub it. So now I'm going to put a fade on that so it comes in all in a nice feel. Like right now, it jumps, right? So I'm going to drag and drop. Mouse down, drag and drop the fade. Now you can shorten this. Maybe I don't want it to be so long of a fade. So I'll shorten it and now let's play it. And now it holds. And now I go to my next slide. Any questions? I have a question. Alicia. So basically, uh if we wanted to like look up um, like tutorials on this, like what, what would we search exactly? Tutorials? You mean, um, oh, you mean, wait, wait. You mean like if you wanted to, 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 ah, if you wanted to, to do a tutorial like Yamalat was talking about, that she no, watched? Like, um, no, like, uh, like tutorials, like teaching you how to do all of what you're teaching us. So I don't have to like bother you a million times. You know what I mean? Oh, you mean like uh, YouTube videos that show you how to edit the timeline? Yes. Well, two things. One, I'm recording this and I upload it to the playlist. Okay. That's one, number one. But I'll look for one. Right? Okay, oh. okay thank look, you. I, yeah, I do a lot of looking on video tutorials because there's a lot of bad ones out there. So I, I really... I peruse until I find something that's spot on, and that's when I share. That's why I love Jazza. Jazz is the best <laughs> in Flash. He really is. Um, so where could I find this video? Well, the playlist is on that link I gave in the very beginning to Digital Fundamentals playlist. If you go through the announcements on Blackboard, okay. I, give, I give you a link to that playlist. And okay. I, keep, I keep adding to that playlist so uh so it's like today i'll add it takes it takes some time to add because um i have to cut it i have to re-render it and then i have to upload it to youtube and i think everybody in the world is uploading to youtube mm -hmm. so uh it usually takes me about a morning or an afternoon uh to get those things up to the playlist that's fine yeah, yeah. but the thing about uh the, the, the timeline. So now you see I have what I want, right? So now I'm thinking what's my next slide. So now my next slide is I'm gonna use this, this slide right down here of this woman, right? So that next time, now we see her, right? So you see how I have her down here. So now I could put a fade on her and because I already have text, this is what I'm going to duplicate. So I'm going to right click, duplicate. And this time I'm going to call it, uh, wear your mask today, uh, you can save lives. So now I'm going to turn off, wear your mask. 
And now I have, uh, let's see here, this one. And I've got to change that. So I've got to bring this in. See, now this one, as you can see, it has the same keyframes because I duplicated it. Well, I don't want that keyframe. I'm going to do, uh, erase it. So you can just select the keyframes and erase. You also can select the fade and erase. So I'm not ready for my keyframe yet. What I need to do is I need to get in there and change the words to wear your mask. You can save lives. Now, I, because I did capitals, you can save lives. Right. So now you see I've got that made. I don't need the glow, so I can turn that off. Now, I could turn that glow, come to think of it, I could double click that and turn that glow to red because that will really stand out as such, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you can actually animate these layer styles. You see, if you look at the keyframing style <clears throat> is here, for, um, oh, you can do a text warp. Wow, that's all new. Mm. That's a new tool right there. So you see style relates to layer style. All of these can be keyframed. So if you want to glow off, you would keyframe it with it off. Then, it, and when I say off, I don't mean toggle the layer oh. off. I mean, put it down to zero so you don't see it. Oh. Okay, yeah, so. that's how you keyframe it. You don't turn the layer off because that really turns it off. You just turn the, the uh, values down to zero so you don't see it. And then on the other keyframes, you push it to 100%. That's how you can mm -hmm. animate all of these uh, layer styles, drop shadows, glows, all that kind of stuff. So, so now I have this. Let me push. I don't want this image yet. So you see how I keep pushing the images I don't want. And it'll be easier if you stack them in a chronological order as far as uh, the timeline is concerned. So again, now this time, I don't want it to come from the right. I want it, you know, I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I want to this time have it come from the dead center. So in that way, I've got to stretch this out. <coughs> now, I don't know how much time I'm doing now. You have to remember you have a time. So I'm still, I'm only right now, it's uh, only two pictures, right? Let's see how this feels. So space, that could be shorter. You see, like already I feel like it's too long. I turn this off, that's why we don't see it. So let's do it again, space bar. That should be done by now. I'm, I've, got, I've got the message. So I'm gonna shorten that, you see? How you can uh, do this. Now I'm gonna bring this in. And again, I these two are too far apart, so I'm gonna bring this back up so that these two are together. So it's good to keep your uh, type and layers together so they're not so spread apart on the timeline. So now what I'll do is, let me zoom out of here so I can see where I am. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit more and I probably will bring it in a little bit. See, it's a little big. So I'm going to change my font uh, up here to like maybe 48. That's better. Now I would like it to be on the same line. So I don't know where that is. So that's when you use your ruler and you bring it down. So I know where my line is so that when I'm jumping back here, I can see where my line is and keep everything consistent. So I, you know, so that's good. So that it starts like that, you can save lives. Now it's a little small, I'm not that happy with it. So I'm gonna go a little bigger to 60. And that be a lot better. Um, I think there's less than one minute. Ah, thank you, Sean. So, so now we have to see, come back again. Yeah. Now you can see I can drop it. I'm going to fade it. And then I'm going to drop and fade on that. Let's see what that looks like. 